Today we have on Leasing Avenues, Bill Phelan. Uh, Bill is one of the uh, founders of PayNet, which everybody knows about. But probably what people do not know much about is the beginnings of PayNet and how it all really kind of got started. And uh, Bill, welcome, by the way. Hey, thanks, Bob. Thanks for having me. So give us the history. How did, who, who came up with the idea? How did the idea come up? What promulgated the idea? How did it all get started? Sure, Bob. I mean, like I'm a credit geek at heart, right? That's what I am. And I was managing money for an insurance company, about $1.2 billion of credit. And I knew you could not outrun bad credit. I mean, that was kind of obvious in what I did. And as I looked at the equipment leasing industry, you know, it's, it's innovative, it's big, it's national. And this was right around, you know, the dawn of the Internet. And, you know, it was really a change in technology that was going on. So it just seemed like it was the right time to put together this database and this capability with my, my, my credit geekdom. And uh, just it was a good kind of a, a good time. Well, I, if I do recall, do you remember maybe in the early days uh, where you approached the ELFA? How long into the beginning of PayNet? Did you approach the LFA? Yeah, I, you know, I was fortunate to uh, get to know Mike Fleming through Ron Orndorff, and Ron was the CEO of m and Leasing. And uh, it's a pretty funny story, actually. I reached out to Ron, and it was kind of a, like a cold winter day, and we decided to meet at the Brat Stop in southern Wisconsin. This is a famous place where everybody stops to have a brat and a beer before you either get in, when you get into Wisconsin or you leave Wisconsin. And we met there and, you know, I don't know, Ron, good guy. And he was, uh, just saw the vision and that I laid out and um, one thing led to another. So quickly got me in front of Mike Fleming and Ralph and met the whole ELFA team. And uh, the timing was good. You know, as you recall, we were just going into a, a recession back in 2000. It was a little bit different recession. It was more of a, a internet recession driven uh, based on you know, kind of overvalued internet assets. But it was a recession and it was becoming a scary time. So it was really a good time to start to put you know more credit data in place for the industry. We used to have these credit applications. Um, and you know, one of the questions was the, tra the bank references, a bank account number, bank name, you know, officer name. And we would then go and call the officers of the bank, whoever it was, and get a, a credit reference. Well, the banks quit doing that. I don't know if it was a bef little before or a lot before your concept, but it certainly added to uh, the fact that we weren't going to get any references any further from the banks. That was really a good point, Bob. The, the credit references were still a manual process of a phone call or a fax. And obviously, that takes a lot of time. And one of the things that occurred then was as you would call you know, your competitor for a credit reference, the first thing the competitor would do is hang up the phone and call the customer and kind of poach the customer back. So you know, it was really, um, the system didn't work well. It was highly uh, manual and expensive. And um, it just, what also I think lent itself to was just the kind of the credit risk itself. You can lose a lot of money by lending money. As you know, Bob, you've done that in your, all your life. And um, so uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons that the, uh, the PayNet database really, really took off at that time. Got it. Thank you. That's a really good, really good input from that one. But that was certainly another thing that I think was a feather in PayNet's cap because we were all in a quandary. How are we going to get credit references anymore? And uh, along comes PayNet and solves, solves that problem. Mm -hmm.